confusion can set in because a lot of people are not making enough stomach acid because they don't have the resources to make that hydrochloric acid. The body needs minerals and other resources to be able to produce that stomach acid. So what a person can do is they'll kind of simulate that proper digestion by supplementing with betaine HCL so they can acidify their food correctly. And then that'll help them break down the food to the point that they can actually get the minerals out of that food and then supply the body with the minerals it needs to be able to make its own hydrochloric acid. And of course, the person really needs to have proper bile flowing. And it's really common for someone's bile to become too thick and sticky to flow correctly. So they need that flowing to really create that sizzle where the acid meets the alkaline bile. And then it creates that sizzle that helps us bust the food apart and get all the minerals and nutrients out of that food. And when we look at how the body makes HCL, we understand that the body needs water and CO2 or carbon dioxide too. And we know it needs zinc. The body uses zinc for a lot of things more than just making HCL. The body likes to use zinc to help the immune system function. So a person could get like a really bad cold and they'll start having things like where they lose their sense of smell or taste. And that's usually a factor that comes into play when zinc has been depleted. So if the immune system really has to work overtime for some major invader and it's using up all the zinc just to help fight off these bad guys, then the person can use up all their zinc and then they won't have that sense of smell or taste until they can restore that zinc in the system. But if that's the case and they have such a depleted level of zinc that they can't even smell or taste things, then they're probably going to have a hard time making stomach acid as well. So zinc can be a big thing, but we also understand that CO2 is important to be able to make hydrochloric acid. But CO2 is a byproduct of processing carbohydrates. So if someone's on a really low carbohydrate or a keto diet or even a zero carb diet like a carnivore situation, then they may be producing less CO2 because they're not consuming any of those carbohydrates. So then the lower amount of CO2 is going to make less CO2 available for the body to make hydrochloric acid. Now, I don't want you to say, oh, I've been doing this carnivore for 10 years and it's all great. You know, carnivore is great. I use carnivore. I use it with some clients. I use keto. I use very low carb diets. But you still need to understand how the human body works and understand that why some people thrive on those diets and others just get worse. And also why some people will thrive on those diets for a specific amount of time and then trouble will come about and they won't do as well on those diets. And it's because of situations like this where the CO2 is going too low.